How's it going, boys? It's me, your favorite Snake Souls merchant. Some of you may call me crazy, but I did the math, I did the sciences, and the conclusion is that Brie Larson, against all odds, is the perfect wife material. I came to this conclusion after realizing that we, as men, have been looking at Brie Larson through the lens of emotions, not rationality. And I ask of you, are we men or are we women? Do we think emotionally like women or do we think rationally as men? And the moment you think rationally about Brie Larson, you understand that there is absolutely nothing wrong with her and that she is perfectly fit to be the perfect wife. Not convinced yet? Well, let me give you some facts in that case. She is amongst one of the most hated people groups in all of the world, which means creating new relationships, bonds and meeting new people for her is extremely hard. And that in turn means that the competition for her as a woman is extremely slim. While it's true that she does have a couple of fans here and there, most males who are a fan of Brie Larson are absolute spineless soy boys, and as long as she does not have a preference for pussy, they will not ever be even a consideration or competition to your advances. As a woman, she is most likely, as any other woman, desperate for attention in some way. And she is not getting it from the right people in the right way. And this is where you can come in. She will be instantaneously swept up off her feet the moment a non-soy boy approaches her. Brie no longer is a 20 year old girl. She understands that the clocks are ticking and the time is becoming shorter and shorter. So the desperation at this point has reached critical stage. And as we all know, desperation is the hottest anvil. I can hear you say, but I'm just a guy. I'm not a millionaire. How can I be equal to her? Well, Brie Larson is a strong, independent woman, which means she does not need you to take care of her. She already has millions and she will be more than happy to take care of you, as long as she has some sort of companionship that does not involve another pussy. Usually, if a woman has more money than a man and makes more, that is a detriment to the relationship. But in Brie Larson's case, this is a complete bonus. Because of this, you never have to worry about the fact that she may meet some rich dude and leave you for his money. You see, most people think that Brie has a shitty personality, but after analyzing it carefully, I have figured out that it is absolutely a facade. It is a defensive measure she has taken against all the hate she receives. So the moment someone treats her as a human being, she will instantaneously melt in your arms. She will become feminine and submissive. At this point, she has realized that you are her best shot at a happy ever after. And this situation will give you absolute control over her. Do you want to get married? If so, you're in luck. Brie already wanted to marry you in the first three seconds after she figured out that you're not a mangina. And since she's a millionaire, remember, it's no longer her money. It's our money. Worst case scenario, if you get bored of her and you divorce her, remember your worth, king. Take half her shit without questioning. She did give you access to a luxurious lifestyle which you cannot live without anymore, and you helped her out mentally in all of the random things Brie Larson does. But will she divorce you? Absolutely out of the question. She is smart enough to understand that she's not winning the lottery two times in her lifetime. Do you want children, but Bree says that she's not exactly up for it at this point? Well, have no fear. Just say, well, that maybe it's time to go your separate ways. She will be instantaneously begging for that baby batter. And I know, this sounds perfect, but you have one last complaint. And that complaint, obviously, is will you be satisfied with that underage tomboy-looking girl? And the answer is obviously yes. 
You see, when she's not spending time with you, she's angry. And when she goes outside and meets other people, she's gonna be angry. Which means when she gets back to you, you can have angry sex and that's pretty awesome. And you know she likes it rough. Every single woman in this world that claims she's a big boss, independent and whatnot, loves, loves when you dominate her. In the end, what can I say? The perfect woman does exist. And against all odds, despite everything, it somehow magically was Brie Larson all along.